The guests and discussions on this show are not endorsed by the show or show host. The content is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Nothing you hear is intended to substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, and or treatment by a qualified health professional. Welcome to Health Revolution with V, your integrative health adventure. Welcome to the Health Revolution with V Show. I am so excited. I have an amazing woman here for you today that I've known for many years, and I'm just honored to have her on the show. Her name is Terry Pender. Uh, she holds a Master of Science in Nursing from Florida Atlantic University, where she completed her academic preparation as a family nurse practitioner in 1997, far before it was trendy. She has completed additional formal training as an integrative health coach, which you know I love very much, at Duke Center. Center for Integrative Medicine in 2010. She has accumulated much of her herbal know-how through her family's business, a nursery and garden center, as well as through various formal herbal study programs. Terry is a healthcare disruptor. You know how much I love that. Healthcare disruptor. Delusioned with the current state of affairs in conventional medicine, she achieved certification through the Institute for Functional Medicine in 2021. Was one of the first nurse practitioners in the state to obtain her obtain her autonomous status, which in case you don't know, that means she doesn't have to be under the supervision of a physician. And is about to open both a direct primary care practice and a clinical co-working practice incubator co-op, which we will learn more about on the show, for clinicians right here in Port St. Lucie. Her aim in adopting these models is to create an ecosystem to deliver meaningful results for both the practitioner and the patient one relationship at a time. So welcome, Terry. Oh, it's so good to be here with you, V. It's so excited to have you here. Yeah, I can't even begin to tell you. So definitely let's start with you telling your story. How did you come to this space where you're doing what you're doing? And then we'll talk more about what you're doing. I think a lot of it has, a lot of what's driven my career has been my husband's career. The fact that for 40 years now, I've been sleeping with a grower, a, a man in agriculture. And, and one foot in ag and one foot in conventional medicine really helped me see um, a lot of the flaws, let's say, in the system. And a lot of, you know, big pharma and big pharma, you know, we know these problems and you can see it very clearly when you're really in the middle of both. So, oh, I got to spend a lot of time opening that garden center and I really enjoyed that. But when it was time for me to go back to being a nurse practitioner, it was not something I was looking forward to. I had really thought that I was a fail at being a nurse practitioner. I, I couldn't see 24, 30 people a day. I just couldn't do that well. And I felt like I was really not good as a nurse practitioner, I was looking for something else to do. And that's why I ended up going to health coaching and things like that. But the reality was, it took me realizing that I wasn't the broken thing. <laughs> it's not me that's broken. This is the system that is broken and we know it, you know, nobody's choosing primary care. There's very few residents who are choosing that as their match because it's just can be really discouraging. Well, so, sure, because you want to see, you know, the the real patient outcome. You want to see their health changing and improving. And when you have to see 25 or 30 patients in a day, I mean, how could you even possibly spend any time with each person? You really can't. And you're, you're you know, the incentives are not there um, for driving true change. It really isn't. And, you know, I've been hopeful so many times with different changes for decades in this industry. So we saw changes come and go. And every time we were so hopeful that this was going to be the one that was going to make things different, where we could really focus on building people's health instead of, you know, this illness model that we have. And I'm not slamming that because, you know, there is a place for mm -hmm. this acute medicine. But what most of us who came into this profession want is that relationship that makes a difference for a person in the long run. And it's just not possible in primary care. I think, you know, there's more space for longer visits in specialty medicine, but primary care is really lacking that. So direct primary care, as you mentioned, is one really great solution to that. A direct primary care is an excellent solution. I mean, direct primary care has, I feel, has come to the forefront. But like we were talking about at the beginning of the show, there is, or before the show, is that 
not enough people know. So let, let's talk, let's dive into primary, direct primary care, because there's, there's a big difference between primary care that you just go to your primary care doctor with your insurance versus direct primary care, which is a non-insurance-based model. So yes. you're not at the mercy of the insurance company. It's actually, to me, it is probably the truest free market approach to this business end of it, if you want to talk about that, because it's really a direct relationship between you and your client slash patient. They pay you directly uh, a, a membership model, a monthly payment, usually less than a gym membership. Um, and you're able to access your clinician for whatever needs that you may have. And usually most direct primary care practices do this where we make ourselves accessible by text, by telephone, by telemedicine or face-to-face, -face, whatever the appropriate situation is for you and your needs, you know, as the right. client. And it's a relationship. You know, your visits are typically, you know, my inpatient, my intake visit is, typically runs about two hours. And people get a real physical, a thorough physical exam. And my, because of my functional medicine training, my physical is nutrition-based. So I'm looking at your nails, your tongue, your teeth, you know, everything. Uh, and people are like, wow, I haven't had a physical like that. Um, so, I hear that often, though, with direct primary care. Like, they're like, oh, my gosh, the doctor spent, like, all this time with me. And and then they asked me all these weird questions, like, about my, you know, not just family history, but, like, did this happen? Did that happen? And, and they're and, and a lot of times they're intuitive. Like, people will go, mm -hmm. how would you know that? You know, just maybe because you're paying more attention. Exactly. To That's the it. You know, and a lot of what we get paid for in medicine is our critical thinking skills, but we don't have time to use them. We're, we're just following through the evidence-based guidelines because, you know, if this, then that, because that's how insurance pays. But see, when you take that other party insurance out of it, and it's just you and me talking about what your goals are, it's, it's a beautiful thing because now I don't have to say, well, you want to achieve this, but the guidelines say we need to do that. I, we don't have to go there. We you just don't go need their approvals for anything. Nothing. Like you can decide as the as the practitioner, you get to decide what they're going to do. I found too that because I have used the direct primary care model, so I have found that even like testing, lab testing, and you know um, other kinds of MRIs and and bone scans and all these things, if you pay cash, it's less than if you had insurance anyway. It's really true because your plan with Blue Cross Blue Shield or you know which is the main carrier in this area, um, you've got, first of all, a deductible to meet, whatever thousands that is. And during that deductible, you're going to meet that by paying the contracted rate that Blue Cross has made, has negotiated with that MRI provider. So, the, and commercial rates are the highest, actually, that we get as providers. We love commercial <laughs> rates negotiated. Um, so, you're going to pay a higher rate. And then I go to that same MRI provider and say, listen, I'm going to send you patients who don't have insurance. They're going to pay on the same day. You're not going to have to collect. You're not going to have to chase after the insurance. You don't have to worry about the insurance coming back and saying we decided we didn't want to pay for that and taking the money back. These are all realities of running an insurance-based practice for a clinician. So we take all of that risk out and then we can keep the cost down. And I can negotiate directly with that MRI provider for a fraction of what Blue Cross negotiated for. Oh, and no. they're happy to take that because they got cash in hand that day. They don't have to chase the money. Yeah. And so it really is a good, you know, it's true free market medicine. If we're not going to have socialized medicine in this country, which we know this country doesn't want that, mm -mm. then let's allow, let's throw back the curtains and show the proof, show the truth about how billing happens, inform consumers so they understand why this guy is taking two skin lesions and not just one. You know, it's not because he wants to say be more convenient for you. It's because he gets paid twice as much and three times as much or whatever it might be. Right. And if all you, of those deals going on behind the scenes, you know. They drive your care. Oh, sure. They do drive your care. Which, speaking of which, we have to drive into a commercial right now. So we want to thank our, our commercial sponsors. Those are the people that make this show possible. So don't go away. We'll be right back with Terry Pinder. We have lots more to talk about. Have you been told that you need to cut way back on sugars due to a health condition? 
do you find yourself struggling to give up the sugars even though you know your health depends upon it? If you answered yes, my online Hidden Sugars class is for you. Take charge of your health and visit eatingwithv.com and take the class. Apex Electric is a family-owned and operated, licensed and insured electrical contractor with over 30 years of experience. No job is too big or too small. With free estimates and a one-year warranty, Apex Electric is your premier contractor on the Treasure Coast. A-A-P-E-X Electric Inc. dot com. Google Bins Pass Control Florida. Got bugs and you know what to do. Call 772-878-1972. Forever Young Stewart can help you look and feel your best with our amazing aesthetic services, IV therapies, and bioidentical hormone replacement therapy. These services and more will aid in your overall physical and mental health. Please visit us at foreveryoungstewart.com. That's the number four everyoungstewart.com. Welcome back to the Health Revolution with V Show. We are here today with Terry Pinder. She is a nurse practitioner. Her company is Intentionally Well. And if you missed any part of this, you'll definitely want to go back. We were talking about direct primary care. You can also see the video version on eatingwithv.com. That's eatingwithv.com. You can see this show and every other Health Revolution with V Show. Terry, if you can tell us how to find you, and then we're going to jump into some more conversation. Sure. Uh, probably the easiest and quickest way to find me is to go to my DPC practice website, which is Intentionally Well. It's a long one, I'm sorry, <laughs> but www.intentionallywell.com. And all of my contact information is there. And um, there's even a link there where you can grab an opportunity to talk to me for 15 minutes. I do oh, a, a consult. Free consult, yes. Oh, a yeah, free 15-minute so consult at intentionallywell.com. We have lots more to talk about, so we're going to dive right in because we're going to pick Terry's brain while we have her, and we don't have her that long. <laughs> so let's talk about, we were talking about, like before you came on the show, we were talking about the um, the clinical co-working, co-working right? That's yes. fascinating. So explain to me that. So I think... I think a lot of people are kind of familiar with the idea of a hot desk if you have an office job and you can go to a, co a common area where you can share a co-working space with people. But with clinical co-working and medical co-working, this is a newer concept in this idea of shared working space. And the, the purpose here is to provide clinicians with a regulatory compliant space, so OSHA compliant, CDC compliant with infection control, HIPAA compliant, all of the things you have to worry about, I'm, I've already taken care of. Biohazardous waste, sanitation, all of that will be taken care of. You can just walk in, lease your space for just the time that you need it instead of, and just one room if that's all you need. And so the idea behind this is making the space you need available a lot of folks who want to be um, mobile, there's a lot of practitioners who are mobile, completely mobile, but you still need a brick and mortar address to get credentialed by insurance companies, for example, or to get a Google listing. So in order to help people, I provide this physical brick and mortar space, and if they want to actually use the brick and mortar space, they can, or they can just use it as an address. And while they're using the space, we provide all the support that they need to run a clinical space. That's and incredible. So keeping me, the cost let me, down. Let me ask you a question right there. So is it kind of like, I want to uh, akin it to like one of those office buildings that like they're like virtual office and they're exactly. like, but for clinical people. Specifically for clinical people. Awesome. You know, when we met, I was doing that. I was subleasing a space in a lab space and I chose to do that in the lab space because I knew that it was going to be compliant and, and the lab was taking Medicare, so I knew they were following all the regulations. But finding a space like that is hard. You know, you can use an office space like that, but it's not technically compliant for a medical practice. And what kind, now is this any kind of practitioner? Let's run down some of the examples of who would come in and, and get a space. We, you know, there's lots of like salon suites available for, for many types of practitioners. What we want to really focus on are licensed 
practitioner. So if you're a licensed mental health counselor, I have a mental health room. Nice. Um, if you're a licensed nurse practitioner, of course, that's where my heart is. You know, part of my dream is to have a legacy of of helping nurse practitioners gain their autonomous status and and sort of kickstart their individual independent practices in primary care. And that's part of the reason we became autonomous in this state is to address the primary care crisis. But so many nurse practitioners are not in a position to go out and start a business. You know, I've been fortunate that in my role at my family business, I've learned a lot about how to open a business, you know, so and how to run a business. So I want to share that. That's really important to me to help new clinicians who want to start up. And then another place close to my heart is older clinicians who want to be partially retired, you know, have more time to go to events and, and not so much time, but they still want to keep their hand in it. And so this creates a space for that also. I love that. Yeah. I love that. So is the, the medical equipment is there, the lab supplies there? So what yeah. So the rooms are all set up kind of like I worked for Minute Clinic for a while. So I modeled it after a Minute Clinic model where there's desk space, there's clinic space, there's everything you need, um, all the basics like applicator swabs and tongue blades and all of that is going to be in there. Really, truthfully, it's turnkey. You could walk in and run your practice. Now, if you have your own supplies that you want to keep, there's uh, storage space available at a small extra fee. So, you know, I mean, people could really run just right out the box, just come, you know, maybe bring a stethoscope. So I'll have a few of those laying around too. So That's amazing. That's a, it's yeah. amazing also how fast time goes. <laughs> we have to take a quick commercial break, but we'll be back in just a moment with Terry Pinder, Intentionally Well Nurse Practitioner. And don't go away. We'll be back in just a moment. Join a dynamic and robust business directory tailored to maximize your business exposure. The Martini Network has been connecting business professionals in a fun and productive way since 2008. Join us at martininetwork.biz. That's martininetwork.biz. Is your insurance company telling you that you have to replace your roof? Nice Roofing is a family and veteran owned and operated local business. Choose peace of mind and quality work with this Owens Corning Platinum Certified Contractor. Join thousands of satisfied customers. Visit NiceRoofing.com. Need plumbing fast? Choose Benjamin Franklin Plumbing of Port St. Lucie. Our, if there's any delay, it's you we pay, guarantee ensures punctuality. For every minute we're late, we pay you $5, up to $300. Call today at 772 Call Bin for reliable service you can count on. When disaster strikes, turn to the experts at Dry Medic of Port St. Lucie. For all your remediation needs water, fire, mold we've got you covered. Fast, reliable, and experienced. Call us today at 772 404 3266. Dry Medic, restoring peace of mind when you need it the most. Welcome back to the Health Revolution with V Show. We are here with the most amazing Terry Pinder. <laughs> she is with Intentionally Well. You can find her at intentionallywell.com. That's intentionallywell.com. We have to dive back in because we only have her for a short time. So Terry, what I really want to talk about, it's one of my things that I'm so passionate about, is functional medicine. So even though your practice is primary care, you're a very unique kind of primary care. You're more holistic. So let's talk about functional medicine, what that means. Yeah, so functional medicine is different than standard conventional medicine in that our aim is more to get to the root cause, not to name, blame, and find a prescription drug to cure or treat a symptom. We want to find out why you're having that symptom. And so it's a lot of detective work, which I just absolutely love. And honestly, it's usually more complex than what an average primary care provider will do, but I can't take that hat off. So if you come to me as your primary care provider, it's definitely going to be from a holistic, um, comprehensive perspective that we look at what's happening, what your goals are, and then work towards finding the root cause and, and alleviating that. So that's really probably the easiest way to describe functional. 
and you do like specialty testing. Do you do like microbiome stuff yes. and all the fun yes. stuff? Yes. You know, I think probably the most foundational concept in, in functional medicine is that, you know, all health begins in the gut and you're only as healthy as your gut is. So, yes, very much so. If it's appropriate, I do do testing. But I will tell you, a lot of people get turned off by the idea of the testing because it's often not covered. It's not deemed medically necessary. So it's out-of-pocket expense, and it can get costly. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's regular covered lab for your insurance that we could look at from a functional perspective and see much more than what your average doctor is. Oh, everything looks good. Keep doing what you're doing. No, I'm going to dig in, and I'm going to say, I don't like this. I see this trend, and and here's what we can do. And um, so it's like a completely different approach. And But, yes... Definitely looking at some of these more comprehensive exams like um, hormonal testing or like you mentioned, the microbiome testing for gut function. These are all great tools that we can use and add on, but I can make big changes with people without putting them through that expense. So I kind of like to say that I provide people with affordable functional medicine because a lot of, a lot of times, you know, if... It Look, can get very expensive. Exactly. Some functional med can be very, very expensive. Right. But if it's a duck, it's a duck. If yeah. you've got a leaky gut, you know, I don't necessarily need your microbiome mapped out for me to know what to do to start that healing process. I like to, honestly, in my practice, I save some of those more costly tests for when we get stuck. Nice. <laughs> when we're no longer making the improvements that you want to make. And then we'll... Then if we'll you dig hit deeper that plateau, that. then you kind of go after different yes. testing. Yeah. So functional med is the way to go, but affordable functional med with Terry. So um, I know that you have um, a big grand opening coming up soon. Yeah. So let's talk about that. We're really excited about it. It's myself and an, um, an associate. Her name is uh, Emily Gavel. She's also a nurse practitioner, functional medicine. Um, and an, another associate, Destiny Young, who uh, is a health coach trained like you through the Institute for Integrative Nutrition. Love it. And so, you know, the three of us are going to be opening, uh, our soft opening will happen in April, but our official grand opening will be May 10th and 11th. Um, the evening of the 10th, we'll have cocktails for some VIPs. You'll be invited for I'm sure. I'm invited. Yes. Yay, I want to be a VIP. <laughs> Can't have a martini party without you. <laughs> and, then, um, and not that there'll be martinis. I should take that back. <laughs> um, but anyway, we'll, um, and then on the 11th, we're going to do a nice uh, festival in front of our location, which is a great location right at the corner of Leonard Road and Hillmore Drive at uh, in Port St. Lucie, so kind of behind the hospital in that newer mixed-use community called East Lake Village. Oh, East Lake Village is great. It is great. Give us an address. It's 2100 Southeast Hillmore Drive, is it? Hillmore yes. Drive, yes. In Port St. Lucie, Suite 101. Thank you. Like, I can want to say Boulevard, but How I How about you give them a phone number, too, for the business? Yes, sure. The business phone number is 772-877-2311. Nice. That's a nice, easy one. Two, it three, is a good. One. The guy was good to me. The guy who set up my phone. <laughs> You're not kidding. Yes. And intentionallywell.com. Don't forget, you can get a 15-minute consultation. So if you've missed any part of the show, make sure you go back and watch because she's given us a lot of great information. Intentionallywell.com. Now, is there anything else that you'd like to share with the listeners today or viewers? Because we're on video, too. Yes. Well, I guess um, just to share sort of our basic principles that um, underlie both direct care, clinical co-working and intentionally well and my partner's native health business. And um, basically that boils down to intentionality, which is, in my mind, an, a combination of autonomous action taken with purpose so acting on your own and then growth professional personal financial and um and community that is really where the magic happens when you're surrounded by people who inspire and uh, encourage you to make the right choices every day for your own health revolution i love that i absolutely love it 
So don't forget, Terry Pender, check out her website, intentionallywell.com. Go visit her for her grand opening. I know that I'll be there on the VIP night. Thank you so much, <laughs> Terry, for coming out to the show. It has Thank been you. such a joy to have you. And I'm excited to talk to you more. And don't forget, direct primary care and functional med are the way to go if you want the best health care today. So we'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Health Revolution with V.